Wake up Cleve, y'all. Should I let them stay to sleep? Or should I get them up? Drink, 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 drink your water. and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Take a breath and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath and drink your water. Drink, drink, drink. Lift your glass and drink some water. Take your breath and drink some water, fam. Drink some water, drink some water. All right, family, A. Hey. I want to say good morning to each and every last one of you, and you know what it is. It is <laughs> Giami Journey. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Good morning, Miss Stephanie. How are you doing this morning? Who else out there? Oh, man. Man, drinking that water get to get the, all that fluid moving up in you. Next up. You know we are doing a daily toast, and this is a heart of a symbol. Uh, this is a heart of a symbol production. Lion, oh, that symbol always on point. Where we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. All right, I am slowly but surely making it through the annotation.
Illustrated African American Folk Tales. I ain't even make it to the story yet. They got some powerful um, articles in here. Well, actually, chapters in here talking about the importance of folk tales. And I got to a point where now I'm looking up. Um, I have to relook at some of the folk tales because, of course, you know we know that Jews are hidden in them. But, but we have to look. I have to look back and see how some of these tales have been morphed and abused. I'm also listening to another book called Breaking the Magic Spell. Um, it's a series of articles about um, how folk tales and um, fairy tales have been misused by society to weave um, a thought virus on us, right? Because it takes the folk tales or the fairy tales out of the cultural context right now family if you want revolutionaries you tell fairy tales and folk tales if you want scientists you teach them folk tales and fairy tales if you want mathematicians you teach them folk tales and fairy tales as a matter of fact there's a uh, i ran into a story um, shouts out to Brother Kwame. Shouts out to Brother Anubis. Great Ujama family. Great Ujama. I hope you know the language by now. Am I getting my drink this coming? Umo yeah. Yeah, I'm working on Man, I just sipped on them this morning. Because of the cold weather, it's moving a little bit slow. But I got plenty. I got plenty. And like I said, even if it's not all the way done, since you drink yours on a regular basis, I will make sure you will have yours. I'm going to work on getting it a little bit sooner than that. Because the issue is, I have to let it, I want to let it sit for those that are amateur drinkers. But since you know how to handle your gallons, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get that root. I'm going to get that, um, I'm going to get the uh, black seed. I'm going to pour it in there for you. I'm going to let it sit maybe a day. And I'm going to have it to you by a moja. Okay? So, I got you. Alright. But, um... In in this story that I read, or I was listening to, um, this woman came up to Albert Einstein and said, if I want my son to be a genius like you, what type of books do you suggest that I read to him? And Einstein said, you should read them fairy tales. She said, then after that, more fairy tales. She said, well, then after that, he said, more fairy tales, more folk tales, family. You know what I'm saying? We have to start learning how to make these folk tales. We need to start learning how to make these proverbs part of our lives because, like I said, in them are the seeds that we've been looking for. In them are the motivations that we have been looking for to change the world. They always been up under our nose, but we never paid them attention. Why? Because it didn't fit the standards of this traditional education that we have been pushed into. Folk tales and fairy tales force you to start learning symbolism, forces you to start looking deeper at things, forces you to start dealing and wrestling with your own character, and is this not some of the things that are necessary in order to become a mathematician, in order to become a scientist, in order to become a change agent within the society we exist. We have to be able to do some introspection as well as being able to analyze the world outside of ourselves. So, um, all right, we already drunk the water. We're going to do, um, we're going to do our, uh, we're going to drink our libations or take, do our toast, um, family. Uh, shouts out to Brother Shaka, Seung Hasbury. I didn't know musicians got up this early, friend. All right. Um, today is Ujima. And tonight, tonight we will be doing tribal quotes. And the quotes we're going to be working on tonight. So those of you that's here can get a head start. I think we are on. Yeah, we're on day eight. Consistency is the last refuge of the unimaginative. That's by Oscar Wilde. 
Never does nature say one thing and wisdom another. Ooh, that's satires, juvenile. A man should not swallow poison because he is afraid to spit and offend others. Damn. All right, that's going to be a good conversation tonight. So y'all heard it. That, that one came from an unknown one, but yo, that was hot. One should not swallow poison to keep from spitting to offend others. All right. Wow. All right. So today is Ujima. For those that don't speak the language, it's the day of cooperative economics. It's a day of reciprocity for its demotic, um, demotic uh, system. Today is reciprocity. In the M7, we talk to the children about gratitude. Um, the color is green. Uh, the hermetic law of the day is polarity. Males born on this day. The day name is Yao. Females, Ya. Okay. So, family, you know what I'm saying? Be aware. Activate those reticular formations, please. Get your mind right. You know what I'm saying? Start looking, consciously looking for what you want rather than consciously, uh, unconsciously looking for what you don't want. All right? Because that's what a lot of us do. We consciously, we, uh, my fault, we unconsciously look for the things that we don't want and wonder why we always find them. Start looking for shit you do want. All right? Start looking for the things that you want in your life. Start looking for them. Ujima is one of the things I want in my life. So today, I'm going to have to strive while I'm dealing with some of these children to find this Ujima that I've been searching for, right? I got to find the, the reciprocity. I got to find the gratitude, you know what I'm saying? And reasons for these things, all right? So when we start building our lives around what we want rather than building our lives around what we don't want, um, we put ourselves at an advantage. We put ourselves in a position um, where we can win. And I need those of us that's pouring libations, that's saluting our ancestors every day. Family, we, we, we deserve to win. We, we supposed to be winning. And in many cases, we are winning, right? So, all right, so now let's get this toast on. Let me see if I can get this sound for y'all. Ooh, man. All right. It's that maturing ambrosia. Y'all done drunk this whole thing with me. You know. Um, Brother Kwame, I'm going to have your gallon, I promise. So you can toast with me again. The law of attraction. I'm on it. All right. Yeah, basically, we attract what we want. We attract what we want. We attract what we what we seeking. And because many of us are not in charge of our... Um, our internal software family because we're not in charge of it we unconsciously turn that power over to mechanisms within us and they're not bringing into our lives what we need i'm just saying let's become conscious and you know what i'm saying you know um because like i i don't want to be one of those where it's like, well, all you got to do is think about what you want. No, 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 family. We got to get out and get that shit. It's not, it's not coming to us, right? We got to get out and get that shit. We got to move. We got to work. We got to build, right? And But build with, 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 that, with that mentality, you know what I'm saying, where we're consciously doing things rather than constantly being um, torn apart by the, 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 being tore, we're being constantly torn apart by the randomness of life. You know what I'm saying? Rather than learning how to harness and use that power. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like, it's sort of like electricity. Because we haven't dis discovered it in our life yet, we still um, live in life by candlelight. We're still living and thinking in old ways. When all we got to do is wire up the electricity, it's already there. We just need to do the work to wire it up because, you know, we could have discovered electricity and never did nothing with it. There's a lot of energy sources on this planet that we have not explored or done anything with. 
you know what I'm saying, that would make um, energy a lot cheaper. But because we're not using it, it's useless, right? And for us, as as beings, we have a lot of useless energies that we're, I mean, we got a lot of energies that could be used, but because we haven't wired ourselves properly, we can't allow that current to flow through our life. We can't allow it to bring light to us. Um, Brother Ashaka says, when we empower our children to speak courageous out of their imaginations, we dare to find wisdom out of the hearts of innocence. And one of the things we you find when you look at the Proverbs is that a lot of times the wisdom is flowing, it, it flows from the children. Um, there's a story about a Nazi, and I get into the toast. Where well, Nazi was, of course, you know, Nazi is the spider, and the Nazi was gifted with all the wisdom, supposedly. So men made a Nazi angry, and a Nazi being a, a, a trickster-like spirit um, is very um, spiteful. So a Nazi said, "I'm gonna gather up all the wisdom and put it into a little bowl." He, he, he gathered it all up, put it into a little bowl. He said, I'm going to hide this because men shouldn't disrespect me. So he took all the wisdom from everywhere he had and he put it all in the bowl. He said, I'm going to put this somewhere where it can't be found. And his son was watching him suspiciously like, he up to something. Let me follow him and see what he up to because my dad, my dad always into something, Right? So Nancy makes sure nobody is watching him, or at least he think. And he walks out the house with his little bucket around his neck. He got the little bowl of wisdom, and he walks, and he gonna say he gonna put this bowl on the biggest tree that he could find, which is the world tree, right? That that tree of life that we talk about these proverbs come from. And he's gonna climb up to the top of the tree, and he's gonna put all his wisdom. Out of the reach of man. So he finds the tree. And his son is hiding behind him in the bushes. Don't want him to see him. And he tries to climb the tree. But every time he tries to climb the tree. He can't climb the damn tree. Because the the, the, the the calabash of wisdom is around his neck. So he jumps up on the tree. He tries to grab it. But the, the calabash hit the tree. And knocks him down. And he jumps up again. And he tries again. And it knocks him down. And he's climbing up. And he it knocks him down, and he getting frustrated, and his son is getting frustrated. His son said, "Oh man, why don't you take the calabash and put it on your back? It'll make it easier." And this made Anansi even madder, because Anansi looked over at his son, and he said, "I thought I put all the wisdom in this damn calabash." So he got mad. He took the Calabash off and smashed it and all the wisdom went out to the world. But one of the things that you've, one of the motifs you find in a lot of these tales is that even with the wisest of beings, the ones, especially in our cultures, that brings wisdom, that brings an insight, that brings a different way of looking at the world, it's the children. Right? He had all that wisdom. He couldn't figure out to do something that a child was able to point out. You know what I'm saying? So wisdom is always coming into the world. We just have to be open for it. We just have to be receptive to it. You know what I'm saying? Blessings have always, like like another, another lesson in that story is, blessings are always there. You know what I'm saying? We just have to be receptive to it. Unless he could have accomplished what he wanted and let that little piece of wisdom just stay on the planet and could have put the rest of the wisdom up. But because he was spiteful, and he thought that he had all the wisdom. He got upset and smashed the damn calabash. And some of us live our life like that. Right? I'm telling you these folks. Y'all be y'all be thinking this shit is created for kids. No, this was created to teach us how to get along with each other and how to deal with life. Shouts out to Miss Elaine Joyner. Alright, so we're going to lift up our glass. And we're going to toast the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We are an immense family. And many of us have different views of the universe or the multiverse or whatever we call it. You know what I'm saying? So we salute the creator. And we allow you to salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call. Because we are a family. 
right? And so we lift the glass and we salute that creator, that source of all from which everything flows, the first ancestor. And we lift up our glass and we say, Ashe, all right? From their family, we move without any further ado to the very long list of ancestors that we have completed over the last year since we have been doing the show together. Man, it's been almost a year. I want y'all to think about that. So we lift our glass and we salute those ancestors. So I'm going to grab the paper. See, I got it laminated. This will be in the, the Kwanzaa handbook. By the way, we still raising funds for Kwanzaa. It's not over yet. So go to Columbus Kwanzaa 365 and donate a 10 spot. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we almost there. We 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 about a thousand dollars short, family, and we need for the family to come through because we want to have a powerful Kwanzaa this year. All right, daily toast. Our personal ancestors: Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin, the Tech Center, David, Hunter Brown, Sing, Rosalie, Tilly, George, and William Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fane, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown, Marvin Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown the second, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Pilar, Montague Pittman L, No More X, Pet Ma Ra, Malik for Malika for Cure, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Albert Robert Donaldson, Alpha Brofro Actor Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek, Derek L. Pullian, The Luxter Brothers, Mrs. Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Nana Loretta Clark Inez McCrary, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael J. Ford, Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dell Hodge, Melvin Dell Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Ware, Levita Farmer, Agosa Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Deolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Mary B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Eric, Erica Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keechler Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jerrell Giles, Watson Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Delrita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Gross, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Imatep Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and uh, no, it's, yeah, it's Lacey, Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds Stanley, Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, I mean, yeah, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. Um, woo, family. We getting it in. We getting it in. Now, this, this Kaumba, 
This Kaumba, two days from now, that will be 1216 from 2 to 5 p.m. I think I had the time wrong. It's 2 to 5 p.m. at the main library in the main auditorium. We will be having the HBCU uh, program for pre Kwanzaa, right? So we are introducing our young people to HBCU. So if you got young people, bring them out. You know what I'm saying? Um, we need to introduce our young people as well as some of you that went to HBCUs. Come on out. Um, Shaka says, I was by Pharaoh's room the other day and he t and told him his music was too loud. He said, Dad, just go downstairs. I couldn't be mad at him. <laughs> oh man right so we lift our glass and we salute all those ancestors family oh my god did you hear all them and all of them because we're toasting them because you're here whether you're here live or whether you walk through and you listen through all these ancestors are going before us because they all come from family and friends right and a powerful piece another thing about children is like I'm, I read this list every day, so every now and then little Sasha sit down on me and she's like, who is No More Ax? So I have an opportunity to introduce her to one of our ancestors who happen to be one of her extended family members. I say, well, No More Ax, that's, that's your um, older brother's godfather. He was one of my teachers, blah, blah, blah. I'm able to go on and, 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 and relate some stories and pass the legacy on. You know what I'm saying? And the more we do this, the more our children start recognizing that we have respect for the past. We have respect for the past. So how are our children going to grow? They're going to grow up respecting the past. So we lift our glass up to our personal ancestors and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to the present moment. We covered the present moment. I won't belabor the point. We know that we are in Ujamaa family. Get those reticular formations working for you rather than against you. Start seeking out what you want rather than what you don't want. We lift our glass and we say, I say, because in the moment is our power. In the moment is our power. Next, we want to move on and we want to um, toast our children, our children's children onto affinity. We want to toast our ancestors coming back. We want to toast ourselves coming back. Because we all return back as children, family. You know what I'm saying? Life is a cycle that goes round and round. And to the laws of my eye, I'm bound. Listen, so we lift up our glass and we salute our children, our children's children, onto affinity. We are individually responsible for the next seven generations. Think about that, family. And, and, mm -hmm. and we come back. So check it out. We lift up our glass. And we salute our children. We remember our children. We thank our children. We look to our children for the wisdom that they could bring to situations because they bring new eyes. Oh, and man, they crack it open. Our brother Kwame say, Ani, for as you do for your parents, your children will do for you. So we lift up our glass to our children, our children's children onto affinity. And we say, I say, from their family, we toast all our relations, and we say, Ashe, and last but not least, family, I toast you because the time is drawing nigh where it is time for me to get the car started and get my kids ready. It's time for us to start today, and today mm -hmm. I am going to find, I'm going to find Ujama. Man, it is Kwanzaa season, and check this out, I came up with a song. I'm dreaming of a high Kwanzaa Just like the ones we used to know Before the slave shit stock Before auction blocks That's far as I got, but I'm working on it I'm, I'm working on it, right? So we lift our glass and we salute. And I'm saying, family, thank you for taking the time to stop in. Because, I mean, our numbers are small, but our numbers are powerful. And we're constantly growing, family. We got new people coming in and visiting. We got people, you know, if you got ancestors and you're on the timeline, 
be sure to drop your ancestor's name because the list, this list is just for Kwanzaa. I will start building another list. I will make another list, right? And one of the things that I'm going, that I'm going to propose to my family, to, to my tribe, my Giami, I want to form, I want to, I want, I would love to encase this in stone. Buy us a little small little piece of land in the city and put this stone with our ancestors' names on it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we got to start building monuments, family. That's what we come from, people that build monuments. You know what I'm saying? We come from people who are monument builders. We're not building no more. You know what I'm saying? Let's get out there and let's start building. So let's do it, family. You know what I'm saying? So lift up your glass. Take your sip. Man, I love, I love tipping on this and going through the stages because every time this changes... This reminds me that growth is happening. This is a whole nother generation from what we drunk yesterday because the life cycle for these microorganisms. Matter of fact, this is several generations from when we drunk it yesterday. So time is passing. Family, you know what I'm saying? Every day when I'm messing with this ambrosia, family, I'm learning. This is, this is a whole new drink from yesterday. Because it's alive and it's changing and it's growing old and it's giving birth to new younger ones. Wow. So with that family, I am out and I'm saying peace. I'm saying love, like, and share. Because listen, we're going to have a talk about how Facebook work tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because Facebook is like, actually, check this out, family. I, I go out to the car this morning to kind of warm it up, right? Turn on the radio, NPR, they have a special news broadcast where they're talking about how Facebook works. And Facebook works like your reticular formation. The things that you like, they bring more of it to you. Let me say that again. Those that don't know, the things that we like and share, they bring more to you. And I know everybody say, well, we all know this, but we don't act like we know this. Because we out here, a lot of us are sharing bullshit. Right? So your timeline, you know what I'm saying? If your your timeline is a reflection of your likes and what you sharing. So if your timeline is full of bullshit, Facebook ain't put it there. Your likes, your reticular formation, you attracted what you want in your life. So we out. I'm gone. I'm sorry. You know, I got to get into it. You know, you are now listening to Jeremy Journey. Oh, anime. Come on, girl. You're now listening to Jeremy Journey. That's the one good thing about having Sasha and Gina. They never let my phoenix fall asleep. All the goddamn money I spend on feeding you. Give her a scoby every now and then. They like scobies. All right, next. This is Daily Toast, and this is a Heart of a Simple production. <laughs> You know, and we always try to blow up those old paradigms, and I am out, family. <laughs>